my darlings. Welcome back to Shame I Am Glam. This is the first video of 2014. Woohoo! Um, thank you guys for subscribing. Thanks for coming back to the channel. Um, this is the first face of the day of 2014. So if you like this look, I'll come a little closer so you can see. We kind of got some lime green and yellow going on here. This is actually a recreation of a look that I saw while watching um, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. I don't know whether it was last season or the season before that, but Jocelyn had uh, this really cute lime green smoky looking eye. And I thought it was cute. It's one that I've added to my repertoire and I decided that I would share it with you. So if you like this look, this look, and you wanna see how I did it, then please keep watching this video because we'll do a step-by-step -step tutorial together. Prior to filming, I washed my face using the Clean and Clear Sensitive Skin Facial Cleanser. And I followed that up with this dual action oil-free moisturizer. Then on my eyes, I applied the NYX High Definition Eyeshadow Base as an eye primer. And then after I let the base sit for a few minutes, then I'm adding this yellow jumbo pencil also by NYX Cosmetics in yellow. And I'm applying this yellow pencil to the majority of my eyelid. And this is gonna give the color a really good base to stick to. You can blend out the color with your fingertips like I'm doing in this video, or you can use a concealer brush. First, I'll be using the Vanity Palette, the matte camel color, to highlight right underneath my brow bones and serve as a good transition color. Then I'm going to take a fluffy cosmetics brush and I'm going to add this sunflower yellow color. It's a matte color called Shout by Sigma Cosmetics. And I'm going to apply that just underneath the matte camel. And then using that same brush, I'm going to go in with Oktoberfest. That's this orangey brown that you see right here and I'm going to apply that just to the crease area just underneath that yellow that I applied. And this just gives us a smooth gradient of color. This is Vibrant Lime Green, also from the Coastal Scents Hot Pots collection. And I'm gonna use a densely packed eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to apply that matte lime green to the lower portion of my eyelid, that space that's closest to the lash line. And once I'm satisfied with the lime green, the first thing, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this matte yellow color. It's like a little buttercup yellow color. And I'm going to use the same brush, just flipping it on the back side, and apply that matte yellow color to the innermost portion of my lower lid, closest to the tear duct area. And then you'll see me flip the brush on the other side where the green was and just blend back and forth between the yellow and the green to get a really smooth transition from yellow to green. Next I'm heading back to the Hot Pots and this color is called Prehistoric Green and I did switch to a new brush this time and I'm applying that Prehistoric Green which is just a matte grassy green to the outer third of my lower eyelid and then I'm gonna blend that grassy green upwards into the brown and also inwards into the lime green. Now I'm taking Oktoberfest and the brown that's directly underneath Oktoberfest is called New Terrain and I'm using a crease brush to apply that to my crease area to deepen it a little bit, give it a little of a more smoky look. Using that same crease brush, you're gonna see me go back and forth between the brown and the green and add more brown and then add more green. And the reason that I'm doing that is so that I get a smooth gradient between the green and the brown colors. Then I'm gonna take the Sonia Kashuk large crease brush and I'm just gonna use that clean brush to help blend out the color even more. And 
Now that the colors are blended to my satisfaction, I'm going back in with that vibrant lime green and I'm adding back some lime green to my eyelid where I feel like the color got washed out in the blending process. I couldn't show you this color because the palette is broken, but this is a light champagne frosty eyeshadow from the L'Oreal collection. And any frosty golden champagne looking color will do. I'm just using it to highlight the uppermost portion of my brow bone. Then I'm taking that same brush that I used the Mac Camel on and I'm blending out that frosty champagne. Now it's time to do my eyebrows. This is the NYX Cosmetics Pencil in Espresso. It's like a dark brown color. And I'm going to use this to form the skeleton for the shape of my eyebrows. And this pencil that I'm applying will also give the eyeshadow that I'm using to fill in my brows a base to adhere to. The color that I use to fill in my eyebrows is this matte dark brown color. It's kind of like a reddish brown and it's from the Vanity palette. And I'm just using an eyeliner brush to just go over the shape of my eyebrows and fill in any of the places where the hairs are sparse. Now that I've got my eyebrows where I want them to be, I'm going to go in with this NYX Cosmetics pencil in acid green. And I'm going to apply the acid green to the lower part of my lash line underneath the waterline, just along the lower lashes. And then I'm going to go in with prehistoric green, which is the same color that I used on the outer third and I'm going to apply that on top of the acid green using a really skinny brush, a pencil brush, a liner brush, anything like that will do. And after I get the prehistoric green, I'm going in with this matte white color by Coastal Scents, and this one is actually called Powder Pink, which is a really um, a white color, but it has kind of like a pink undertone to it so that's why it's called powder pink and I'm applying that to the inner third of my lower lash line and this is the Maybelline eye studio eyeliner it's a little gel eyeliner it comes in a little pot and instead of using a brush to apply it, I'm going to be using the tip of a pencil. So you just dip the tip of the pencil in the pot, and then you pick up the product and draw it on your waterline. That's what I'm doing right now. Next, I'm going to use that same eyeliner by Maybelline, and I'm going to apply it to my upper lash line with a really skinny liner brush, and I'm going to wing out the tips.
Once I get that eyeliner just how I want it, I'm going to go in with the Christian Dior eye makeup remover and I'm just going to apply a little bit of that to a Q-tip to just clean up any mess that I may have made underneath my eye and make sure my lines are nice and crisp. Next, I'm going in with Colossal Volume Express by Maybelline in Glam Black, and I'm going to apply that to my eyelashes. Now it's time to move on to the face. I'm going to use this Ruby Kisses 3D Face Creator. This is a concealer, and it's level 11. And I'm going to use a concealer brush to apply this underneath my eyes and also to do any spot correction in other places on my face. I'm not using any foundation today, just spot correction with the concealer. Next, I'm going in with L'Oreal True Match Powder, and I'm going to apply that on top of the concealer and the majority of my face using a really fluffy brush. Now I'm going in with Sparks by Ulta, which is a matte brown with a little bit of sparkle to it. And I'm just going to apply that underneath my cheekbones for a little bit of contour on the hollows of my cheeks. And I'm blending that in using a blush brush. And then I'm going into the Coastal Scents Blush 2 palette, and I'm mixing together two different shimmery pinks, that one and the other one, just for a little touch of color on my cheeks. And this is Wet n Wild lipstick in a color called Bear It All, and I'm just going to apply a little bit of that to my lips, and then on top of that, I'm going to apply Creamy Pink lip gloss. Now my face is done, time to do the hair.
to check out this video. If you haven't already, rate, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend about Sham I Am Glam, and if you have any questions or concerns, hit me up. My inbox is shamiam.glam at gmail.com. Um, be sure to check out my Beautylish page because I post often different pictures of stuff there. And of course, my Facebook page. That's facebook.com slash shamiamglam. I'll see you guys next time. Ta-ta!